I don't think I ever was told by my parents about sex, but like, I don't know how I know what it is, but I remember with my Barbies, like, like slapping them together and, um, but I didn't really understand until I got out of private school and went to public school in fifth grade and then I was taught everything. <laughs> so yeah, and that's when I think I like started realizing like, oh, that stuff's happening. It was, you know, survival mode, you know, being molested because when there's alcoholism in a home, you know, that there's, there's the parties and, and predators know this, you know, the, the, the predators know this and children are very vulnerable. I would think about screaming and it just didn't come. So I wake up in his place the next day and, you know, there was like a little bit of a voice in the back of my head saying, you know, like, that's rape, like, you should call the cops. After that incident, that I realized that it was really unsafe for me to be a lesbian in Jamaica, so I came to America. It was the 80s when it happened. Like, bulimia was the big after-school special then. Like, they hadn't quite gotten to rape yet. The intense shunning that happened to me, and I think happens to a lot of, I mostly know young women who have had this similar story, is so, I think is more, is, is the most detrimental part of the story, is the most damaging. Anytime anybody has sex with anyone else out of fear, it's rape.